Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to shrink a SQL log file using SQL Server Management Studio. The log file I'm going to shrink is this search server application DB file that you can see highlighted. Um, often log files can grow quite big and use up a lot of space on your hard disk, so it's, it's important to, to keep them under control and I tend to do some regular housekeeping to make sure they don't grow too big. As I say, I'm going to use SQL Server Management Studio to, to carry out this operation. So if I just open it up, I've got a, a, a shortcut on my, my taskbar. The database itself is on the, the local instance of SQL, so I'm just going to connect to that. And as you can see now, I've got an object in my object explorer with the databases. So I'll expand and expand or just make this window a bit bigger so that I can see. Now that this here is the, the database that I'm interested in. This is the log file for this database is the one that I'm going to shrink. So if I just click on that, if I right click and select tasks and shrink, now you can see there's an option to shrink a database or shrink files. And it's the files, it's the log file itself that I'm not going to shrink. So I'll select files. The shrink file dialog appears. Uh, initially, you can just check that it's the correct correct database is named, so I'm happy enough with that. At first, I can see the file type is, is data, and I'm going to change that to log, the log file that I'm, I'm interested in, in shrinking. And it's important before you go any further just to, to ensure that, that the details are correct. I know this is the, the, the right name of the log file, and this is the, this is the correct location. If you ever want to verify that, you can go back in through your explorer and just see where the log file is and check the name of it. And I'm happy with that. So let's go back to the to the shrink file dialog. Okay, so currently the, the file is 90 megabytes. I'm going to shrink that. So I've, I've left all the defaults. So just click OK. Now it might take and on the size of the file, it might take a few minutes to, to shrink, but this is fairly small. And the shrink file dialog has disappeared. Now, if I look back at this, sorry, I, I forgot to highlight beforehand, but this was 90 meg beforehand, now it's 504 kilobytes. So that's that's a log file shrunk, and that's the end of this tutorial. Thanks very much. If you enjoyed it, goodbye.